What's going on guys? Got another knife review here for you. This is of the Microtech Select Fire. Uh, this is my first Microtech uh, that I've ever owned. Um, yeah, I mean Microtech to me always uh, in the beginning collecting phases, you know, just uh, the only thing that I thought of were the out the front, you know, the auto knives that were illegal uh, in California to carry, so I never really thought about getting Microtex and then all of a sudden I started seeing all these different um, kind of Microtex whether it be the Whale Shark or the uh, SOCOM Elite um, most recently the SOCOM Delta which I think is awesome I mean, that, that, that looks like an amazing knife that I'd love to get my hands on one of these days <clears throat> but the opportunity to get the Microtex Select Fire uh, came up in a trade so I jumped at that um, given some of the craze about the Microtex and and all that kind of stuff. Um, oh, I think one reason that I was kind of avoiding Microtech as well was because of the Matrix, and not to get into controversy, you know, in this video and all that kind of stuff, but um, you know, just the obvious um, design, you know, pull from the Zero ZT Triple uh, Seven. Um, I thought that was kind of shady and, and all that kind of stuff. So I kind of avoided them and all that stuff. But uh, this trade came up, and I was like, man, the Select Fire looks so like sick looking um, you know with these carbon fiber inlays and just these wicked curves and all that kind of stuff and I was a little bit skeptical about uh, this knife given all these weird curves thinking you know whether or not it would be a comfortable knife and all that kind of stuff and I definitely love tinkering with my knives as well so you know all these proprietary screws that Microtech uses on their knives <clears throat> I was a little bit uh, concerned about that as well um, but uh, since getting this one, you know, a couple of weeks ago, uh, this has maybe been one of my most carried and used knives um, during that time. And, and I really, I don't know, for some reason I really enjoy uh, using this knife. I really like the look and feel uh, of this knife. I really quick just compared against, uh, this is aluminum black handle, again, with the carbon fiber inlays. So just kind of busting out some of these other uh, aluminum or not some other, the other aluminum handle that I have here, the Hoagie X01. Um, here's the Custom James Kugler um, Longbow that I haven't really shown at all in any of these videos. This is a pretty cool blade. Um, and then the CQC 10 from Emerson. These are just random blades. And then the Sebenza, of course, um, as with every other video. So you do get a comparison shot. You know, the Microtech is actually, I think, the longest of maybe comparable with the EX-01 um, and mainly because of the handle. I mean, you kind of see how uh, it compares with the rest of these knives. The Microtech handle is so much longer than every other uh, handle here. But the blade length or blade, yeah, so actual steel length is... Um, 3.5 inches but the actual cutting length I think is maybe around 3 inches so a little bit similar to a strider in that it has this little choil right here and all that kind of stuff if I'm not mistaken uh, the Microtech the select fire was uh, some kind of collaboration uh, I, I want to say with strider but I'm not positive so um, don't quote me on that uh, but I think it was something that they had worked on in the past and then uh, whether it fell through or what, um, then you know the, the select fire came to fruition. Um, this comes in as an automatic or as a manual. This one is the full manual version. Um, it comes randomly with different colored uh, aluminum backspacers, so either black or silver or green or red. Uh, mine came with the green, so I think it actually looks pretty good against the black aluminum right there. So um, it's very nice. The pocket clip on this knife is humongous, um, which is something that I thought I would hate, um, but it's it's grown on me. I don't actually care too much having some knife uh, hang out of the pocket and all that kind of stuff. Um, so you know, this much stands out of your pocket, which is substantial. But if you're, you know, for me, I never tuck my shirts in or anything like that. So um, it's not a it's not a knife that I'd carry to church. Um, but under my shirts and all that kind of stuff, you know, it's not a big problem. So it does provide a lot of 
you know, real estate for you to grab onto and then deploy <clears throat> the knife. You hear that clack um, of the, uh, the liner lock. So it's a nested titanium liner lock uh, in there. Inside, there's actually two little coil springs, um, like sitting about like right here and right here. Um, so it actually makes for um, actuating the lock not hard, but um, it's it's substantial for sure. Um, so you get that that loud clack, um, and there's two reasons for that. One is the strength of the liner lock, but also second is if you can see uh, where the liner sits as it is actuated, it hits against the back end um, or back side of this blade tang. Um, so I don't know, you can't really tell on, on the screen here, but when you look at that part of the blade tang, that actually protrudes out. I don't know if I can show that on this side. Yeah, you see it right there. See how that protrudes from the blade tang? So Carter, Juju 1313, he actually um, noticed this or um, showed this in, in one of his videos a long time ago. And after I got this uh, knife, you know, kind of just looking at that as well, it's kind of a weird feature that Microtech it, it went with here. I don't know what the purpose of it is, whether, you know, so that the, the lock can't completely engage to the other side of the knife or whatnot. Um, if that's a safety mechanism or what. Uh, but, I mean, this liner, you know, is, is fully to... If, if, if you will to the other side of the blade tang you know it won't go any further and all that kind of stuff there's absolutely no well right now yeah no vertical blade play um, but you can definitely muster a little bit of side to side once in a while right now I can't um, so again I'm not sure what that's all about uh, for the for the microtech um, what they were thinking in, on you know the construction but uh, it's a very solid knife um, very again very comfortable knife jimping on top is very very functional uh, jimping here as well is pretty functional jimping on the aluminum backspacer also very functional reverse grip right here um, is is extremely comfortable whether you grip you know with the choil right here with the little finger guard or if you come back here for added uh, reach, you know, when you have your thumb on this hump or this kind of inset uh, on the back spacer or on the back of the handle, uh, it's extremely comfortable. So a very good defensive knife if if needs be. Forward grip as well is just so comfortable, kind of like the paramilitary or strider. Uh, you can choke up and do a lot of fine precision work, um, and that's what I've been enjoying a lot about this knife. So. Um, it is again a uh, full aluminum construction. Um, there are no uh, washers inside, so kind of like the Hogue X01, it just runs. I don't know if the uh, SOCOM Elite or if the Delta are that way. I, I think I, I overheard that um, the Delta has some kind of bearing system, like Microtech's proprietary bearing system or, or something. Um, but I don't know if the Elite runs on bushings or or on bearings. Um, I thought I thought maybe it just runs directly on on the aluminum as well. So uh, anyway, uh, S35VM blade steel. That's what a lot of the Microtechs have been using as well. Uh, I know some of the SOCOM elites uh, have used uh, 20CV, which is a great steel, which is what my hinderer is. Um, so uh, anyway. Uh, this is just it's just an awesome knife. It, it sits in the pocket well. Again, it does um, stick out uh, quite a bit, but um, overall, as a first Microtech knife, um, I am very pleased uh, with this knife for sure. Definitely, the proprietary screws are kind of a pain in the butt. Um, luckily, the guy that I traded with, um, he had a friend that had constructed some tools for him that you can open up these body screws and then I was able to manually open this with my hands. So um, I was able to kind of get in there and, and lubricate the knife and all that kind of stuff, but it really was just a total pain in the butt uh, to open up this knife, and that's why I was able to see the internals and these two springs popped out, but um, yeah, luckily I was able to um, put it back together. Just to let you guys know, this liner is actually um, 
so they call it a nested liner lock it actually wedges in between here in the frame um, so there's a little bit of length on the end of this titanium piece that you wedge into the aluminum frame and then as you're putting it back together then you set the uh, springs uh, under underneath the liner and that's how you uh, do put it back together in case again if you if you ever have to do that so taking it apart does void your warranty for Microtech so I'm not suggesting that you do so but uh, if you're ever so inclined to uh, take your knives apart and all that kind of stuff like I love to do then uh, yeah go for it just don't hold me responsible for that <laughs> um, anyway other than that you know I thought maybe one of the problems you know would be this handle to blade length ratio but for this knife uh, it's not a problem I, I love the feel of this handle and it's just so comfortable I feel like I do get plenty of blade just like you think uh, on a Strider uh, SNG and all that kind of stuff that you get plenty of blade um, I definitely think that you know three inches plus or whatever is is more than enough blade so long as you know there's a reason why they they get rid of some of that blade you know so having this choil on the strider or on this microtech and all that kind of stuff it, it makes it worth it um, for the hinder as well you know getting that little extra choil uh, in there if there's a purpose for it you know then i think it's totally fine so it makes a lot of sense all right so Anyway, that's the Microtech Select Fire. Um, it's an awesome blade, you know, and it's it sold me on Microtech. Um, not that I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to go out and get the Elite, uh, given its tip-down configuration, um, or the Whale Shark, but uh, definitely that SOCOM Delta, if the opportunity arises to, to be able to get that one, uh, that looks like an absolute winner. So you can go check out uh, Carter's channel as well. Um, he did a review on the SOCOM Delta. I was just really, really jealous of, of that knife for sure. So anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, this is a great knife, uh, Select Fire. So check it out if you guys get a chance. Um, Microtech makes some pretty, pretty good stuff for sure. On par, definitely on par with Emerson. Um, whether it's comparable to Hinder, Strider, and, and uh, Chris Reeve, uh, I don't know. But their, their prices definitely are pretty up there. Um, so, But it's a good knife, and I definitely give it um, my approval and thumbs up. So, All right, guys, let me know what you guys think of the Select Fire um, in the comments down below. You guys take care, and I'll see you guys on the next vid. Bye.